Everyone's talking about AI, open models, coding agents, but one of India's biggest stories in 2025 is not in Silicon Valley. It's in Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Pune. It's in Chennai, Mumbai, Delhi NCR, and it's worth $151 billion. I'm talking about GCC's Global Capability Centers. These aren't your 2000s era's back offices. They have become strategic innovation hubs for Fortune 500s. Let's break it down and tell you exactly what is happening. According to latest reports, GCCs are projected to grow 14% in financial year 25, contributing 4.5% of India's GDP and generating over $150 billion in IT and ITS exports. India now hosts over 1,700 GCCs across the six cities that I told you. And we are not just talking about IT services. These are teams working on core product development, AI-led automation, cloud modernization, end-to-end -end cybersecurity as well. But here's the big shift that you probably missed or you didn't get to know of. And this is also for all the uncountable folks who have commented in our front page videos, what is a GCC? Let's tell you. Lalita Huja, who is the CEO of ANSR, put it the best. He says, and we are quoting him, we are coming out with a different definition of GCC as a subsidiary of a traditional company doing work only for that company. So a services company is not a GCC. This redefinition matters because it separates service vendors from the true enterprise-owned tech centers. GCCs today aren't just service providers, they are digital command centers. And the numbers back it up. Microsoft clocked 15,317 crore INR in financial year 2024. The likes of Citibank, Salesforce, AMD and Walmart are all scaling aggressively. Even Airbnb and Cardinal Health have set up high-value GCCs recently in India. And that is why in the last few weeks, we at Frontpage have made an entire GCC series. All of the six cities that I had mentioned a little while back, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai, Mumbai, Delhi NCR and Pune are the six core cities that make India such a powerful GCC hub. And we have made videos on all of these six cities being GCC capitals. Check them out on our channel. That brings us to our next question. Why is this happening in India now? There are three reasons. One and the biggest one, India's tech talent, high quality, domain aligned and AI ready. Enterprise transformation goals, AI, cloud, automation aren't optional anymore. There's also hybrid work and cost pressure. GCCs offer the best of both the worlds. Not to mention Gen Zs want exactly a work environment like this. And here's what makes GCCs different from IT vendors. Full IP ownership, tighter data governance, native integration with global organizations, much better control over compliance, security and talent. And as we said, India is not just keeping up, it's leading the way. In short, GCCs are no longer India's best kept secret. They are the backbone of global digital transformation. And if you're not paying attention now, you're already falling behind. Tell us in the comments, how did you enjoy this video? Share this video with a fellow tech enthusiast. And now is the time for my personal question to you all. If you want to work, get employed in a GCC, which of these top six cities do you want to get that job in? Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai, Mumbai, LNCR or Pune? Tell us in the comments below. Let's discuss. For more such truly Indian grassroots level stories of development, of tech, of AI, subscribe to AIM TV because in AI, in AIM.